Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerdlings of all ages, welcome to this week's Tavern Brawl. Before I begin, congratulations to Marion, who wins a free pack of Hearthstone cards this week. And if you fancy some free cards yourself, you can win them. Just go to the video description, click on the link, and best of luck. You have until the next Tavern Brawl starts to enter. Now, it's Party Portals this week, and the Medivas are putting on a special show with you as the star. Summon minions with various portals to create a most excellent performance. So I do believe this tavern brawl was around at least once before. I want to say sort of summer-autumn kind of time, more than a few months ago at least. And uh, you just have an awful lot of portals, and if I remember correctly, everything is one mana cheaper for the entirety of the game. So that's going to affect your mulligan a little bit. But more importantly, you just want to make sure you maintain board control because tempo swings are really, really brutal in this tavern brawl. So if you have the option to be aggressive early game and keep a big board, do it because there aren't many possibilities of getting huge board clears because there aren't expensive spells in this. Almost everything. Uh, ooh. Now, is no, skinning for armor, armor rather isn't that useful. So unstable portals are going to be worth one. So I'm wondering if I should mulligan one instead of two. But I'm, I'm going to try and be a little greedy. Oh, it kind of paid off. The silver moon portal is useful, <coughs> but we will see. So who have we got? Mark Moonwalker and Wonder Wonder Hooves. Of course, these guys cannot be killed, and they make everything cost one less. Let's go ahead and see what we get from an unstable portal. Often the MVP here. That is not too bad at all. Now, do I want... Do I want... The second one as well, so I can play the Floating Watcher on turn two. Or do I want to save it for the Silver Moon Portal? Save it for the Silver Moon Portal? No. That doesn't work. Because if I use it on turn 2, I've got no minion, obviously, to use it on. Pit Snake is... It just buys time at the moment, doesn't it? Not that useful. Let's get that out of the way, because he'll almost certainly want to use his hero power on turn 2. Not the greatest minion to ever pop out of uh, a portal, but it'll do. It'll buy us some time. It's all about buying us some time. Oh, Now, we could play this, but this looks more fun. So we're going to play the card that's more fun. Yay! I like the party elementals. So we have some board presence now. Now I could do this, or I could do that. We will see. This plus an unstable portal, if I pick one up for instance, could be worth it. Tonight, a tale of terrible tragedy. That's slightly awkward, because I don't think the deck, yeah, it doesn't contain any minions, it only contains portals. That's a beast! beast. Alright. So I could use a Silver Moon portal to allow this to take out Barnes. It's all about clearing. Um, I feel like that makes sense. Ship's Cannon is kind of useful. We're gonna do that. Don't exactly have that much board presence right now, though. The Floating Watcher could be useful. I wish I could find a way to have my own hero take damage. Maybe. <laughs> Magnetor is slightly frustrating. I could actually take it out. Could actually take it out. I feel like taking it out is the sensible thing to do. And then maybe shenanigans can happen. What else have we got here? 
Silver Moon could be used, but I'd love some Divine Shield right about now. I hope we get some more Party Elementals. That's some great board presence. Ow, why'd you do that? That's mean. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Bad times indeed. Oh, that's funny. I mean, he's got a point. But I believe... I believe I can do that. Followed by that. Cha Ching. That'll do. Not just useful for warlocks, everybody. <laughs> Sneaky shenanigans. So much fun. Alright, now we need to think of ways to keep the Floating Watcher alive. So he's just shoving his hand out, hoping that this doesn't kill him. Which is fair enough. Hmm. I feel like hitting myself isn't that great at the moment, because I just want to clear the board and make sure I'm safe. Interesting. So we're actually going to be very conservative here. Oh dear. Okay, that should be good enough. That should be good enough. That's rather brutal as a card, not gonna lie. The Floating Watcher plus the Grim Patron, pretty brutal indeed. Oh, so he could take that out, but then there'd be like loads of Grim Patrons. Yeah, that's what he's gonna do, okay. I mean, okay. Let's see what we get from the Unstable Portal first. Don't really want Acid more with Grim Patrons on the board. Let's be nice and calm. And take you out. And we have some cards left as well, which is pretty nice. If he comes out with like a huge card, Acid Moor could be useful. Obviously, I can play that and then ping straight away to take out any minion on the board. Should be all good. Ah, the old self fire blast. How delicious. Okay, so Acid Moor ping. Looks like it just wins me the game. GG. Well, that's it for game number one. There was a little bit of a tempo swing towards the end, but not enough to swing it in my opponent's favor, thankfully. Let's go ahead and see what we get from this card pack. Oh, so delightful. The self-fireball victory. Now, I did have a golden legendary last week, and, and, Lachlan, the winner of last week's prize for the free Hearthstone cards, got a, uh, got a legendary from his pack itself, and then a golden card in the uh, pack that you got, uh, from winning my competition. So, uh, hopefully you guys get some golden legendaries as well, fingers crossed. And if, uh, if you'd like a chance of winning some of those cards, make sure you click the link in the video description here, and you can enter any time before the next Tavern Brawl begins. Easy peasy. 
Right, let's go for one more game and see what we have. Versus Let the games begin. Oh, they already have. Hmm. I'm not sure I want only one unstable portal if I'm going first as well. I would have kept the Silver Moon portal if I had the coin, I think. Okay, so the Maelstrom portal isn't super useful. And now we will see. You rang. Susie Sizzle song this time around. Okie dokie. I'm going to play the Unstable first. In case there's an opportunity to get rid of everything. With a one damage hit. Berserker could be fun, and at 2 mana could be very, very good. Uh, value, see, there you go. Not that useful. This, on the other hand, suddenly becomes very useful. So let's see. Not exactly summoning the best things at the moment for the early game. Ooh, he's got Romulo. Alright. Alright. Now, I could, one damage to all enemy minions, ping the Berserker, and kill Romulo. Which would leave the Berserker at 3 health, so it would be a 5-3. The Mean Street Marshal would be a 1. Hmm. Interesting. One. Let's try that. Bring out your dead. Let's see what happens here, because he's out of ping range, so he'll have to use another Maelstrom portal. Oh, okay, Silver Moon works as well. Excuse me, you are on fire. Yeah, that annoyingly worked quite well with the Mean Street Marshal, because it meant that he got to draw a card, so that was a little bit of a mistake. But we will live and learn. None may steal our secrets. Keeper of Alderman. Goody. Dominates Medivh's valet, so it's not too bad. Moonglade portal, not that useful yet, unfortunately. Oh, Romulo's back. I could play both Maelstrom portals, actually. And take out the valet that way. And then let the Keeper of Alderman grab that. I could do that indeed. I have no 6 health to restore, so that's almost certainly going to be my best play. But first we'll use the Unstable Portal in case we get something amazing. Not really that amazing, is it? Taking that up to a 4, 5 is, I suppose, kind of useful. Annoyingly, I can't use my pings to get rid of it. Mm. Don't actually have to play the Shattered Sun Cleric yet, though. You do that. Yeah, go on then. Let's see what else you've got. Today, I don't have to be a princess. Enchanted Raven. Hmm. I think we just accept. We must cleanse the sunwell. Let's take that out of ping range. And see what my opponent has here. That's not that useful on the grounds that I really don't want my hand to be empty in this brawl. The fact that he has six cards left after doing that is a major worry to me. I'm so glad he hasn't used a second Maelstrom portal, although he could be trolling me and he has one now. If he has one now, I'm in massive trouble. Like, massive, massive trouble. This is a big tempo swing. This is a massive tempo swing, so I need one back. I need a big one back. <gasps> Oh, guys, we remember this. We remember this, don't we? Push forward. We remember this. We get rid of that at all costs because floating watchers are delicious. Okay. 
So seven mana. Seven mana means I can ping myself and use a Moonglade portal on the Floating Watcher if I need to. Oh dear. Oh dear. All together now. Oh dear. Got five mana left. Got five mana left. Oh dear. Oh, that's a really nice pickup. And now I just need a little bit of taunt, and all of a sudden this guy is going to become a bit of a monster. Oh, that is delicious. Alright. I have to be careful though. Well, I say be careful. I just have to be wary that I really don't have many cards left. Oh no. Good. I was like, no, not Firelands Portal. Hmm. Okay. Nice. That's very important. That is extremely important. Because this, this is rather delightful now. Oh, hello, dude. Bad times indeed. Taunt here is so important right now. And that's particularly useful because if he has charge, he can't technically hit. Hmm, that's slightly frustrating, not gonna lie. But a Firelands Portal should take care of that. Now, if he somehow manages to clear the board after that, I have just lost the game. And tempo swings are so important in this game. Okay. I think we just go for it. We just categorically YOLO this. Oh dear, well, I'm not hitting that anymore. Let's even do him a favor and make sure he can't heal. And that, unless he clears the board, should be that. That is a rather fortunate pickup, to be honest. Hmm. Okay. That's quite frustrating. So I kill that off. Ah, uh, okay. Well played. So I need to make sure when the wobbling rocks are going to get taken out so that I have room to summon everything, but it looks like my opponent has conceded. And that gives me two wins in a row thanks to the Floating Watcher. Pretty useful card in this brawl, as I'm sure you would agree. Now, ladies and gents, make sure you go ahead and click the link in the video description to win yourself some free Hearthstone cards. This is my last Tavern Brawl for 2016. I hope you guys have had a fantastic Christmas and are looking forward to a delicious new year. I am looking forward to next year. I will be streaming a lot more. I'll be playing a lot more games, and I'll really be getting stuck in in 2017. Uh, 2016 has just been a big year for me outside of gaming, and I'll be writing a blog post on that before the end of the year, so make sure you check that out at jorasar.com. But for now, thank you very much for your likes on the video and subscribes on the channel, and I'll be seeing you next year for more Tavern Brawl. Take care.